Hi friends, my name is Marcella Gomes. I work for Wilson Out of School Time Program and today we are going to do knit art. So you're going to need um, a blank piece of paper, some scissors, um, you can you, a sharpie if needed, crayons or color pencils or markers and or paint. I decided to do paint, but if you don't have paint, you can um, color the whole paper. It doesn't. It also doesn't have to be the whole paper. You can color half the paper or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be the whole paper, but I wanted to paint the whole paper half yellow and half purple, so that's what you'll see me doing here. But again, it doesn't have to be paint. It can be color pencils. It can be color markers. It can be crayons. It can be anything you have. Even if you have colored paper and you do not want to um, color or anything, you can use that instead of doing this. So this is just me painting, a time lapse of me painting. Be careful not to get um, paint and stuff on your parents' surfaces if you are using paint. Like I did get paint on some of my things. I ended up cleaning that up but if you are just doing it with markers and crayons that step will be fine and I also put a paper under it so that it would not end up getting getting dirty the surface then I took another pink color so I took this purple that I had and I took a paintbrush and started painting the bottom half purple and trying to mix those two colors in together. Okay, so this is just a time lapse of me covering the bottom part. I decided to put a little bit more stuff under it so it wouldn't get on the table. And then you put it, as you set it aside so that it can dry and take out a different piece of white paper. With this white paper, you are going to fold it hamburger style. So you're going to fold it like that. And after you have folded it hamburger style, you are going to take some scissors and cut starting from one inch off the side of it. You are going to cut until almost reaching the top and then stop. And you're going to continue doing this to, until all the bottom half is cut like that until the top. Okay, so now that you're done, you open it up and it's supposed to look like this so that you can weave the other one through. But because I used paint for the last, for the step with the other paper, um, I'm going to have to wait about an hour to then cut it up. So you'll see me waiting for that to dry and we'll be back when it's done drying. But basically all you're gonna do is do exactly what okay, I just showed so you there. Now, now that it is dry, so I'm going to take some scissors and cut, cut starting from that beginning part, cutting strips. all the way to the top so it looks like different strips of paper like that. And you're gonna cut a bunch of them out, but you're not gonna use all of them, which is okay. So I just did a time lapse showing you. And after you are done, you are going to 
weave it through. So for the first one, you're going to put it over and then under, as you can see. So it starts over and then goes under, and the other part goes over and now under the second one again, and over and then under again. So you're just going to repeat that step for the first one. Over and then under. Over and then under. Over and under. Just repeating that. And after you have reached the bottom, you are going to... Sometimes you have to readjust it at the top, but that's okay. And when you have reached the bottom, you are going to grab your glue stick hot glue gun anything you have to glue you can even use tape because it won't show anything that you have to hold in place and you're going to glue that top part so that it stays and you're gonna turn it around and glue the back part as you can see Now for the second strip of paper, it's a little bit differently because you're going to go under first. So you're going to start off by going under the first one and over the second one. And then under the third one and over the fourth and under the fifth and over the sixth, under the seventh, over the eighth, and so on. When you have reached the bottom, you are going to tape it into place again. So, for now, I was just adjusting it, and then you can either tape or glue it, like I said. So, we're going to glue it into place, glue the bottom half, and then flip it over and glue the top half. Because it is the opposite of the first one, and it's supposed to be looking like opposites of each other. And now we're going the top half in the back. Okay, so now with the third one, you're going to repeat the step that we did for the first one. So you're going to start off by going over, then under for the second one, over the third one, under the fourth one, over the fifth, under the sixth, and keep repeating that step so it looks like that the first one. 